Hello there, everyone. This is Dan Calloway, and today I'm in uh, my HybridX 3.1 Linux, my favorite uh, operating system now. It is my daily driver uh, from Paul Turner here in the UK. Great operating system, great distro. If you haven't tried it out, try HybridX 3.1 uh, from Paul Turner, and this particular distro is very responsive. Um, it's like being in Windows 10. I mean, that's how responsive it is. Um, and I just really love it. Okay, so I'm in HyperDex now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a development platform for WordPress so that you can develop your WordPress site, uh, and then you can even upload it uh, to a hosted uh, platform if you want to do that and run it, because it will run just like it is uh, from the development platform. First thing you need to do, uh, or the first thing I did anyway, um, and I'll walk you through this process. I won't show you every step because um, I can't replicate it. I've already got it installed in some cases, but I'll stop and show you what I'm doing. Um, let's get over to another uh, uh, workspace here where I've got uh, my uh, Firefox running. And so if you go up on the web, you can either Google it or you could just type it in. Uh, type in XAMPP, that stands for, it's called CHAMP, and that stands for Cross Platform Apache MariaDB PHP and Perl. It's a platform for development uh, for a web that gives you a web server, it gives you a PHP server so that you can do the kinds of things I'm going to show you, and you can also host uh, your CSS uh, development uh, websites such as. WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, and more. Okay, you can even do Moodle if you want to do Moodle. Um, so anyway, type in the XAMPP, uh, and that should take you to the first link on the site, which is uh, the www.apachefriends.org. I'm going to go to the download section here. Uh, this is what you look, what you're looking at now. The download section, for example, or Champ, it's called. I'm going to go down to the Linux version 5.6.36, okay? Which actually I'm, I'm running 7.2.7, .7, but it, it's all of these. I'm going to go down to the 7.2.7 .7 with PHP 7.2.7. .7. Uh, there is the MD5 and that the SHA1 if you want to verify the file when you download it. I've got a 64 bit operating system here, platform. So I'm going to download this 134 megabyte file using the download 64-bit link. So I'm going to click on that, and when I do, that should take you out here and download it for you. Uh, I'm going to download it again just to show you. So I'm going to download it, and let's go to, if I click on Save File, let me get off of that. Save File here, this should come up to OK here in a moment. Um, not sure why it's not coming up to an OK. Open with and OK. Save. There we go. So click OK. Uh, it's already downloaded. It was 134 megs downloaded. I've got a pretty fast connection. All right. So what you want to do is you'll want to right click on it and open um, containing folder so that you can see where it is in the system. Um, I've already got it here. But I've already got it installed. So it's called the Champ Linux X64 7.2.7-0 installer dot run file. Let me go ahead and delete that. I don't need two of them. Uh, so let me move to the waistband. Move to waistband. Okay. So you know it's in your home downloads folder. So what you need to do next is you need to open up the terminal in HybridX. Uh, you need to CD to downloads folder. And then let's do a listing human readable long format and you'll see that we have the Champ Linux 6 x64 that way. Okay, so what you need to do next is you need to highlight this information and right click and copy or you can do a control shift V or C to copy in the terminal. All right, either way. And then come down here and do a um, you have to do you have to be sudo or root, so do a su and do uh, your password. 
All right. Now that you're in there and you're in root, you've got root privileges, what you'll need to do next is do a, um, you'll notice, first of all, look at the file. You'll see that it's executable by the owner and executable by the group owner of this file. It wasn't when I downloaded it. And so what I had to do to make it executable by both of those is to do a chmod and then do a uh, group and user, okay, plus x, I'm adding an executable bit to the file, space, and then do a control shift v, copy the file out, and then hit enter. And what that will do is it will make the file executable by these two groups by putting an x there. All right, so that actually the uh, permissions on this file now are 774, okay? All right, so I'm not going to run that. Once you do that, it uh, creates, it runs the actual Bitnami installation, uh, walks you through some steps, uh, and it's easily just follow the screens. It's easy to uh, take the default on most of the things. I don't think I took anything other than the default on any of them. And then once you complete that, you will have uh, your Champ platform installed uh, in opt lamp. So you do a CD OPT LAMPP and then do an LS on that. You can see that you have a lot of stuff in here. Now I've got more stuff than would normally appear because I've got a module installed in here as well. But anyway, the thing you need to concentrate on here is a file called manager linux x 64run um, it was not executable, I don't think, so I think I had to do a chmod on that, which was just basically a chmod u plus x for user. Uh, there are no permissions for group or other, okay? All right, so what I did in addition to that, I didn't run it directly from that. What I did was I created an alias in the system, all right, for this particular executable, and I put that uh, alias in a file that I created using nano, um, so you run nano against the, um, you have to be root, obviously, so you, we're in root now, and so what you want to do is you want to, if you get to cd and root, which is the roots home folder, uh, okay, there's nothing in it, it doesn't look like it's hidden actually, so it's a hidden file, so if I do an ls.alh, and there it is. There, I created the .bash rc file, and if I open that up, um, let me go ahead and do that. I'll do a cat against .bash rc, and you can see what I did was I created another stanza here at the bottom of this file that I called additional aliases, and here's the alias that I created. The alias was called lamp svr, and it is opt lamp and then running that manager Linux x64 run file. And then make sure it's encapsulated in quotes, okay? This makes the alias that you create um, permanent. So if we do a reboot of the system, restart the system, or get out of the terminal, it'll still work for us. All right, so let's go ahead and clear the screen. Let's exit out of here altogether to show you that. And now let me get back into the terminal. All right, and now if I run, uh, I'm actually uh, a regular user. I'm a data pioneer, and I can prove that by doing a PWD um, home data pioneer. I need to be root to run this because, and the reason for it is that it won't, it's not that it won't work uh, as a non root user, it's that Firefox and HybridX 3.1 will not allow an executable to run in the browser if you're not root. So you have to be root to do this. So I want to do a SU for a super user or switch user to root. And let's do the password. All right. And now I'm going to issue the command for the alias, which, if you recall, was L-A-M-P-P-S, capital S, B-R. And when I run that, it pops up the champ 7.2.7-0 interface. Okay. If I click on the manage servers, you can see that my Apache web server and my SQL database are both stopped. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the Apache by clicking the Start button. Come up and click the MySQL database, and I'm going to start that as well. So I'm starting both of those. And eventually we should get 
a status change from starting to running. Okay, and I have that now. I'm going to minimize it, not close it. I'm going to minimize it because you want to keep this running. You want to keep this process open. All right. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to the web. Um, and actually, I'll show you that if I go right now to uh, localhost, since I have my Apache running, uh, it brings me up to the Champ Apache plus MariaDB plus PHP plus Perl website, which allows me to get into PHP my admin and applications that I have. All right, so um, that's important. You have to have the Apache web server running, and you have to have the MariaDB running, which is the database server. And the reason for that is that when we create our WordPress developmental site, a lot of the functionality within WordPress is controlled by a, a MySQL or nowadays a MariaDB database. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to come down, and you'll notice these icons here. All right. This is install applications on Champ using Bitnami, and if you click on WordPress, it takes you out to the WordPress section. Okay, and brings you to um, the Bitnami module for um, WordPress. Okay. And so here, uh, if you click on um, the NAMI module, actually, hold on a second. Uh, all right, so if you go out to um, here, and let's go up to applications. All right, and so if I go now to the um, check out our Vietnami exempt start guide, uh, it, it shows you in this guide how to install a um, WordPress module, okay, on top of your Champ platform. All right, so. Uh, once you complete that process, it'll walk you through the steps of creating a user for logging in, a real name, an email address, and a password. Uh, then in, it will actually let you uh, install the module over top. Okay? Just trust me. Uh, I don't want to walk you through it. I can't anyway because I've already installed it. I can't install it twice. All right. So um, now once you've completed that, go back out to your browser and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost, this is locally hosted, and then WordPress, okay, and then wp-admin to get into the admin section of your site, all right? Uh, so that takes you to the WordPress admin interface here, and I've got my Dan Calloway PM.me and my password set up, and if I click login, what that does is that logs me into what's called the dashboard of my WordPress website, which is called Data Pioneer's blog. All right. If I click on the post, and if you're familiar with WordPress, then you're you're not going to have a problem with this. If you don't know WordPress at all, then you'll need to learn WordPress, and there are tutorials on the web for doing that. I want to go out to all posts, but it's very it's very easy. It's not that not hard at all. I've actually created three posts already. Um, I've modified this one. It used to be Hello World. Now it's called Welcome to My World, and it's sticky, which means it's on the front page. I've got another one, another article called My New Desktop PC from Dell, and then one called Main PC Fell Over. If I click on the Edit button here under My New Desktop PC from Dell, it actually takes you to the interface that shows you how I set up this particular article. And this image here of the computer was actually done from an ad media. It wasn't done from uh, just by inserting it directly into this post. And so if I go to the media library uh, and pull that up for you, you'll see that the image that I used was right here. And what I did was I added that particular image to the post. All right. I won't go into that because then that's teaching you WordPress and I don't have to time in this video to do it. Okay, so that's basically the process for setting up your first WordPress uh, developmental site locally hosted uh, here 
Developers use this all the time, WordPress developers, uh, Joomla, Drupal, what they do is they develop a site locally, and then a lot of times they will install their same version of WordPress or Joomla or Drupal up on their web hosted site, and then they'll just copy up uh, the entire site to that, and then it'll be fully functional and running with a domain such as www.datapioneer.com or whatever, okay? Uh, instead of being locally hosted. All right, so this has been a video uh, that shows you how to set up a developmental platform for WordPress using Champ platform initially, and then downloading and installing a WordPress module on top of Champ uh, and setting it up uh, through the interface uh, as I've shown you here. So um, please subscribe and uh, comment on my blog and have a nice day. Thank you.